where we need to change. If you're not changing, you're suffering. That is a truth. Today I want to talk about why change in your life is more important now than ever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me on my channel through all the years, I know I've been a little absent, but I always talk about how to manage your life better through the ups and downs. And my personal love for life is how to transform your life into better. Why now in our world, in our history, why change is such an important thing right now. Basically, the last three years have been a real shit show. And things don't happen in life by chance. All of the things that you go through, the really good times and the really bad times and anything in between, are like check boxes that you need to check off to get to where you are ultimately wanting to be. That could be for your own goals that you have been thinking about, your own manifestations, but how about your soul's destiny? You know I'm all about it. It's great to set goals and get things that you want in your life, manifest the life that you want, manifest the things you want. But the ultimate is when you are also including your soul's destiny. That's where the real meat of your life sits. All these boxes that we're checking off, all the things that you've gone through, especially those hardships that have taught you never to do certain things again, or those things that have taught you how to do things better, who not to get involved in, where to stay away from, all the various difficulties that have been thrown to you in your life. They are on your soul's journey checklist, like those things needed to happen to get you to where you are now, to help you to grow, for your soul to experience certain things that it came to experience so your soul could grow. Those things that have come really hard to you. And then we can include those manifestations that, that seem to be much harder for you to get. Like you might be working on something for years thinking like, I've been working on this. Why haven't I gotten that yet? These things that are your biggest difficulties is where transformation is meant to happen in your life. I help clients to get over those kind of blockages, those humps, those needing to figure out what exactly is keeping you from what you want. That is a big part of the kind of work I do. So if you need extra help, if you're tired of struggling and trying to figure it out for yourself year after year, decade after decade, at some point it's good to just go get help so you can get through it. But whatever it is, it's like we have this destiny checklist that all of these difficulties that you've gotten through, they're actually teachings and blessings and knowledge and wisdom that you needed to get to where you are now and get you to where you want to be. The sooner you can wrap your mind around that and not take all these things that have been going through and then keep remembering the pain, keep dwelling on the difficulty, keep looking back like that's the reason why you're in the position you're now. Like that isn't going to help you. There's no amount of looking backwards at pain that is going to help you with getting forward to what you want to gain. That's never going to help you. That's always going to get in your way. To help you to move on from dwelling in those thoughts of the past, of those pains, the blame that you're bringing into your life that's anchoring you, actually continuing to hurt you in maybe a different way now, hindering you from moving forward. Even though you got through the pain, how is it shackling you to not getting to what you want, right? These are the things that, like, if you can get your mind wrapped around, like, I've heard someone call it success tax. It made sense the way they were saying it. Look at it as your success tax. Like, yes, I checked that one off. That was tax I paid to get to my success. But the point being that if you can start looking at it like, okay, yeah, wasn't great, wish I never had to go through it, but it was something for whatever reason I needed to go through and I'm gonna just check that off my list. Thank goodness I got through that one. And move on, like it's so important for you to understand that at some point, if you want real change in your life, you need to move on from 
the past. That is really it in a nutshell. The longer you hold on to the past, the difficulties, the longer you keep yourself to the prize, to the to the goal, to the gain, to the destiny that you would prefer. Do something with your mindset that helps you to understand why you don't need to dwell in that past pain anymore, why you don't have to think about it and learn tools how to move on from that move on from the thinking of it, which we'll talk about, the sooner you can wrap your mind around it in a way that you can say, I needed to check that off the list. Thank goodness, now I can take my next steps. Okay, if you can look at it as something that needed to happen, even if you don't understand why, If it happened, it's for a reason. If it happened, it was meant for you to learn something. Hopefully you are understanding what you learned. And that's a gift because without that, you wouldn't have learned that, right? And if you had to learn it, then there was a reason why you needed to learn it in order to get to where you want. I always tell people, you never have to search out what you need to heal and move on from. The universe will always show you that. It will always be presented to you. What next? What next you need to focus on? Whatever difficulty is in your life right now, that's where you need to focus on working through the mindset, the emotions, taking the actions. That's going to help you check that one off and move on to the next. And there's always going to be something. I always say, I'd rather move through something and check it off and move on to the next than be in the same thing day after day, year after year. Some people stay in the same difficulty decade after decade or maybe a lifetime like that is possible if you don't put the awareness and the mindset towards, you know, what can I do to resolve this so I can move on? Being stuck in the same issue, that's like a life sentence. So where the real transformation, where the real change happens in your life is where you really put the awareness towards change. Okay, some people get stuck in the healing of it. So they're constantly healing the same thing. So some people get stuck in just thinking about it and they just keep thinking about it. Some people get stuck in the healing of it. And yes, you have to do some things to heal things. Yes, that's work that I help my clients on to heal, understand, move on, uh, redirect, learning all of the things that you need to learn to get past it. Because sometimes things are hard to get past. We all have that, okay? But then once you, you understand that, then what are you doing to continue? And then where does the change occur? And it's only when the change occurs that you have the opportunity for the blessing, for the the gain, for the manifestation, for the new thing. So it's like this, it's not like three steps, but basically the three things is getting out of focusing on what the problem is, working on the healing, taking that guidance and working through it, and then moving into the change. And then the change is what changes, right? As long as you're looking backwards at the issue, you're staying stuck in the past. And as long as you stay stuck in the healing, you're keeping yourself stuck in the healing of it. And that's that can be a good thing, but always have the mindset that is I'm working on healing and working through this because ultimately I'm working to the change. And change is change, like, right? Change is change. That means something's changing. So I really want to talk to you in the next videos about change and how to do that. Some really important tips to help you to be able to manage that so you know what to focus on to really change and really see yourself getting to more of what you want. That's where I'm really putting a lot of my time and energy in in my spiritual mentoring group that we meet twice a month, the first and third Mondays online. So if you really are tired of trying to do it yourself or you want to be involved in a group of high vibrational, like-minded people who are working on really deep levels to change their lives, the group Group energy is so powerful and 
every time we meet it is amazing what we do together what we learn together and I have that offering on my website my websites in the description below at cindyeiler.com but look under spiritual mentoring and that mentoring group is priceless so if you want to make real progress in your life join that it's a great way to stay connected it's a great way to keep your energy clear and aligned to constantly be supported and have tools to use every day to help you to the next layer to the next level it's really a great opportunity if you really want to take your life to higher levels anyway Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because I'll be coming with more videos on this topic of transformation, how to heal and change, mindsets, emotional healing, mental healing, all of those kind of things to really help you to understand how to work with these times that we're facing ourselves in. No doubt every person is being presented with not only the opportunity, but a big universal nudge for change right now so if you're not doing the work to change if you don't know how to change if you have been trying on your own but don't feel like you're getting anywhere make sure that you subscribe and watch these videos and again check out my website that mentoring group is great or I do personal one-on-one -on -one sessions for, with people so we can really dive deep on a personal level. Anyway, I just wanted to, to make you aware of why it's so important for change right now. We are in the midst of a period in our history where we need to change. If you're not changing, you're suffering. That is a truth. So let's get your energy moving. Let's get your world, your personal world and universe moving with you and aligning you with the energy that's going to help you shift and helping you to understand things that you can do on your own, committing to helping yourself every day to help your process. I just wanted to jump in here real quick and just get the ball rolling and I will see you very soon. Peace.